Sagittarius, welcome to Tarot Readings by Roxby. I am going to do your weekly general and love reading for the week of September 18th until the 24th, 2017. Those of you that are new, welcome. Thank you guys so much for joining me. Those of you that would like a private reading or connect with me on Facebook or Instagram, all of the links to everything are listed below. It's the only thing that is listed below, right under the video, including a birth chart, because we are going to do the same as last week. We're going to use Tarot of Sexual Magic again. Um, those of you that are offended by them, I, I, I you know, I, I'm sorry. Um, they are uh, very sexually explicit, and um, but but they're they are amazing cards. They're they're just amazing. They do, do not have the same meanings as your regular tarot cards, which this week I am using the Spellcasters tarot. Okay, for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, and Rising Signs. Venus sign for love. You got to know your Venus in love. And that birth chart that I have listed below it is definitely the most accurate I've ever come across. Perfect. Pick them up, I'd be in good shape. Okay. So we have the Six of Pentacles, Central Issue. Is that giving and receiving, balancing things out, the Four of Cups, and the Eight of Swords. Um, you know, with the Four of Cups, someone is offering you something with the Four of Cups. You know, it's emotional. Something could be stopping you from taking it. And I think... I think it's the, this Eight of Swords. It's You're in this mental prison. You know, some of you just being too much in the mind. It's keeping you in this entrapped position you know you could easily you know break free from all of this I mean it's very loose very loosely tied you know there's a lot of fire behind you as well in this deck you know so th I feel like there is there is this deep passion within you to break free of whatever this is. There's too much there's too much overthinking. With the Six of Pentacles, this is that equal amount of, of giving and receiving. Some of you could be, you know, the Four of Cups is also about options as well. Some of you could be, some of you could be, you know, waiting with the Six of Pentacles, you know, what is that giving or receiving, you know, waiting on a decision, you know, you have opportunities with, with the Four of Cups, but In this deck, you're, you're just, I feel like, you're, you know, you're, you're praying for one specific, one specific thing. You're waiting on something. You're definitely waiting here in this particular deck. Okay, this, this deck isn't like other decks. You really have to look at the depiction of the cards. Um... Let's get some more cards, though. Okay, definitely. 
delete this one. King of Cups, so a water, um, a Scorpio could be very important. Okay, Sag, we have the King of Cups, the Tower, which represents Scorpio. I'll go to the Tower in this card, though, in this deck. And look at the Page of Swords. If that's one big ass sword, like you want to chop somebody's head off. Um, you know, the tower you know, is definitely drastic. You know, it's a big change. Someone is trying to bring things down. I almost feel like someone is trying to get in and they're not giving up. The, the King of Cups is very loving, warm hearted. You know, it could be, like I said, you know, it could be a Scorpio is, you know, is coming through. You know, the, the, this person is emotionally stable. You know, but it's very good at keeping his emotions under control. And I feel like they're doing everything they can to get inside. And even if you like do feel, even if you, if you do feel this way with the eight of swords, they don't care and are not phased by it at all. You know, it's like they, that they just, that, that even, yeah, that they just don't care. With the Page of Swords, I feel like you're not afraid, you know, to talk about what's going on. with you know with your mind your truth you were afraid before but you break free you know you get out of that and now you're ready to go for it it's like you're going to find the truth and communicate it you're finally able to say something where here with the eight of swords You know, you kind of shut yourself down, but here someone is very strongly coming in, forcing the walls down to get you to open up. And it does look like that does happen. Like they're finally able to get you out of this. Like someone, someone, it, this water sign is definitely trying to break down your, your walls or vice versa. This could go either way. All right, let's pull some clarifiers on this. I'm using, um, the, the Lima and we're going to just. Get a few clarifiers on this. All right, this card flipped over. Ten of Pentacles. Let me get one more. So the Ten of Pentacles and Strength.
strength card is beautiful on this deck. So, the courage to finally come out and say what you want, what your truth is. You could feel inspired to speak your truth. This person wants to give you everything. They're offering you abundance. Maybe for some, maybe it's a Leo. Could be a Scorpio with Leo in their chart, vice versa. I mean, you know, guys, it's a general reading, you know, private readings. You know, gender does not matter for me in the gen in the generals. Private readings, absolutely. You know, so male, female. It doesn't matter. But They're offering you abundance and really definitely trying to help you out, Sag, definitely. And bringing this to, you know, tends to represent cycles that are ending, new ones beginning. You know, you could even, well, I guess we'll see, find out in the love reading if this could potentially be somebody that could be a love partner that's breaking you out of this. Oh, my goodness, I almost dropped the whole deck. Okay. Sorry. I feel pretty discombobulated here. Losing cards on you guys. I'm losing cards. Well, oh, that's face up. Oh, I'm keeping it. Okay. I don't read these in the reverse. Just so you guys know. But I do wait on spirit to discard. Definitely, some of you are definitely dealing with a Scorpio. You have the death card. All right, the Seven of Swords. The Seven of Swords. You're 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 taking a break to reflect. Now, this is almost like the Eight of Swords. There's a this, there's a big disconnect here. So taking the time to think about your relationship, it's it's not that you want to that you want to end the relationship. You're analyzing it with the page of wands. Maybe for some of you, a fire sign could be important. But this is about you not caring what people think. You're opening yourself up to this person. You know, you have finally let your walls down. And you're letting this person in. That's just beautiful. You definitely really could be ending something to start something with someone new. Or you know, you're going to transform. You know, I feel like I do feel like, you know, this is where you open up. You know, because it is underneath this Eight of Swords. You know, it does fall under, you know, this Eight of Swords. The Page of Swords. You know, under all this where you... You know, your truth comes out. You know, you're going to transform. 
for some of you. I feel like this is, you know, really where you open up finally. You know, it's like you, you have you have an ending to the way that you thought about things. Let's pull some more cards. Like you're not thinking the same way as you were before. Knight of Wands. You know, this is someone coming in, you know, they're not giving up. They're going to keep pushing to get you to open up. And with the six of and with the six of swords, so after you've had a little break, you know, of being in your head, you know, you get to this point of where you, where you literally reconnect with each other. Like this is beautiful. You know, you literally just reconnect. with that other person, you start to open up. Lots of transformation going on for you guys. It really is like starting all over again for some of you. This is new. With the death card and the tower, you know, that's, that's big changes happening for you guys. You know, it, it's, it's a lot of changes to happen in a week. You know, I would not say this is all going to happen in a week. But definitely big changes. We're going to get some clarifying cards on that as well. of swords and the page of swords I'm sorry five of swords so you know really this is saying to speak your truth if you're worried about conflict afraid to speak your truth because you're afraid of conflict you know this is telling you to speak it, to speak your truth. Because even if there is a little bit of conflict, it will resolve fast. Because it's obvious that this person is not giving up on you. That they're just, they're not. I mean, and that's coming through very, very clear. You know, this, this person definitely is into you whoever this person may be, but, you know, forget signs. I mean, you know, you'll know if this reading is going gonna, is re gonna to resonate with you or not. Um, if not, look at your moon, your rising signs for the general portion, your Venus for love. It'll get you a romance angel card. 
Okay, that's going to be the one. And um, an Oracle card, The Light Keepers, um, Keepers of the Light by Kyle Gray. Amazing deck. Release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. So those of you that are thinking about ending a relationship, you probably will because this person is just not giving up on you, Sag. I think it's very, it's quite romantic, actually. This person is definitely hot for you. A lot of passion for you. Ooh, okay. These cards are pretty amazing. Uh, very, um, okay. So we have Lord Ganesh, infinite, infinite abundance. Obstacles are being removed. Spiritual support and connections are increasing. So sorry, Sag. I think I'm coming down with a cold, honestly. So this this card. See the 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 elephant head. It is the Hindu elephant headed god, the son of Lord Shivya and the goddess. But but aside from that, it's it's Legend, it, the, the legend of him, it says that he received that elephant's head as a replacement after his father, like, sliced his, his human one of, I don't want to say this. Okay, after his after his father sliced his human one off, you know, when he mistook him for an intruder. But Ganesh is acknowledged to be the Lord who removes obstacles and is much loved by everyone in India, okay? Because, you know, they believe that he helps them. Like, for example, like wave in and out of crazy traffic. You know, he loves life, is loving, joyful, very, uh, very, a very approachable God. And he will use his light to, you know, to, to weave a perfect path for you. A path that you're divinely guided on, meant to be on. And he's not just bringing in clear light and enlightenment into your situation, but also helping you to clear up. I just, I can't believe that this card came out for you. And I, it's just amazing. And I think I went so in depth with the card, aside from the fact that I just love the card and the meaning of the card. But it, it really, literally helping you to get out of whatever this is, along with this person that's helping you. You know, he's helping you to clear up even inner conflict, obstacles that arrive, uh, arise. He cares about the path that, that you want to be on and is literally like lighting the torch, lighting a big bright torch for you to just follow, literally. These cards are amazing. You know, if you wanted to, if you're into knowledge about learning about, you know, stuff like that. I mean, they're just, they're, they're just amazing. 
All right, Sag, that is all I have for you guys. I hope it helps you guys out for the week. If not, you know, look at your other signs. Um, but I will see you guys back here with the morning cards. Till then, take care, guys. Bye-bye.